fish from the surf, right Cohen? Set that hook as soon as she feels it pull. down here at the beach and uh, we always wondered can you eat them I'm still not sure but we're gonna we're gonna show a couple of things about catfish though before we actually fillet it um, right here very sharp barbs and they have barbs there you can see that's just all bone and that thing will stab you good so we're gonna fillet this thing and uh, I'm still learning how to fillet them because I still don't even know if they're edible but if you can feel when you feel that this is all head. This is all armored head. So it's all nice and hard. And then here, if you see on the sides, is their rib cage. It's all right in here. So what we're going to try and do is go right along the rib cage all the way down uh, to the back of the fish. In order to do that, we're going to start it the way you would do a regular catfish. So we're going to come in here right next to the top fin and we're going to make an incision. I'm going to go all the way down the length of the fish to the tail and then we're going to do it on the other side as well same cut just on the other side of that backbone okay then what we're going to do is we're going to flip it on its side and we're going to make the cut 
right along their rib cage because we don't want those bones. And really, these things do not have a very large fillet, to be honest with you. Um, so we've made the incision on top, we've made the incision there. We're going to connect the two. I'm going to cut down along just like that. And then what we're going to do, flip it, connect it, come right along just like that. And that's your fillet. We have the uh, skin to take off. Now the way that I get skin off of any fish is the same. And I'm going to do it in a way here so you can see it. And I'm going to make my, my uh, knife very flat and go right along the skin just like that. And this meat tears up very easily, so be careful with that. All the way through. And that is going to be your catfish fillet off of a catfish of that size. So you can see they don't have a lot of meat on them. Um, this is rib cage. This is head. So not a whole lot of meat on them. We'll see what it tastes like. All right, guys. So we have been soaking our saltwater catfish in some milk. Okay, you can also use buttermilk or use regular milk and put a little bit of vinegar in it to make it into buttermilk. I've been soaking it for 24 hours. And I've got my bag here ready. Spice right here. It's a Chipotle ranch we're going to use. Right now, I have got flour and cornmeal in here and a little bit of garlic salt and Old Bay. I'm gonna go ahead and toss in this Chipotle Ranch seasoning and give it a good shake. Give our um, fish some flavor here. I've never tried saltwater catfish, otherwise known as hardheads. Um, most people think it's a trash fish. Um, it was pretty red meat but I cut all the bloodlines out and I did my best with it. So, I've had it soaking. I'm simply gonna put it in here, give it a good shake. And I'm cooking this in a little bit of canola oil. Since this is catfish, I'm going to fry it because I just don't know how it's gonna taste and this is the safest, best way to do it. got some potatoes cooking here also that will pair nicely with the fish with some olive oil. No homemade sauce. We're going to try this just as I made it and see. It is white meat inside. I see that. So I'm a little nervous, but I'm going to give this a try. Here we go. Hmm. 
so I thought at first I might spit it out, but it actually just tastes like freshwater catfish, actually. I don't taste a whole lot of difference. Um, it's actually quite tasty when you cook it right. So there you go. You can eat hardhead. Who knew? <laughs>